After weathering the wind and strong current, the sea finally calmed and they were back on the hunt for sailfish. Lift them, lift them, lift them. Get ready, get ready, get ready. It wasn't long before there were sailies up on the bait again. Hunting billfish in this matter is a true adrenaline rush, and remaining calm in this frenzy is essential to placing a good shot, especially when diving with a real gun. The sailfish is a magnificent fish to hunt. They are fast-moving, aggressive, and strong. They are found in all the oceans of the world, and they grow to full maturity in a relatively short period of time, making them a very sustainable fish to harvest. Once again, the team were working together to land this fish, hoping that it was over the 30 kilo mark. That was a little bit of a storm chasing that fish. Woo, beautiful fish. It's a bit of a waiting game, but when it all happens, it happens in like seconds. It's like crazy. It's a bit of an adrenaline rush. Beautiful fish. I think this one might be a tick. Fantastic. But the moment you jump in the water and you see that thing, you knew that was a tick. That, that's what's nice, you know. So it was a good call to put a spear in it. And uh, well done, Chris, for getting it. Uh, you had a lot of patience. You've waited a long time for this. That kind of makes a trip all worthwhile, you know? Thanks, Doug. Yeah, that was awesome. One of the funnest things I've ever done in my life. <laughs> all in the water, that thing comes in hot there. Woo! Breaks, ducks and dives, you eventually take your shot. Pulled us a long way through the water. Eventually I called my good friend Potty. He came in, put a lucky kill shot in the fish. Whew, I'm tired, I told us. Woohoo! 31 kilos, eh? That's a Because when you get home and your wife says, Did you get a tick? What are you going to say to her? Yes. <laughs> I think I don't know who will be more relieved, her or me. Eh? <laughs> so, yeah, I've had a bit of a couple of trips where I haven't been able to get a tick. Uh, it's not all about the ticks I've learned, it's all about the journey. And so spending time with my mates, I mean, my mate getting potty getting a tick, I was as excited, if not more excited, when he got one. Um, and now we just need to get Nala awesome fish, eh? Yeah, so it's lunchtime in Madagascar um, and we're having a real feast, eh? We've got some uh, wahoo capacha, we've got a grouper that we had grilled on the, on the fire there and we've got prawn pasta and a nice salad <laughs> and we've got a very competent chef and his name is Abel. <laughs> Capachos. Awesome.
grey reef came in hot, you know, while I was wrangling the live bonnie. Normally they, you know, they turn away when they get to you, but this guy, he wasn't stopping, he was coming all the way, so I had to put my fins in his mouth. Chewed on my fins, rather than my fins than my leg, I guess. So, I yeah, will just cut that short and see how that goes. Yeah, that's so good. Perfect. Short fins, built for speed. <laughs> Shorter they get, the closer the shark's mouth gets to your feet. Yeah. All in a day's work for the coatsman. Shorten fins and back in the water for more action. Just arrived here in the Termadier Bank. Phew, it was uh, a long drive last night, but uh, we're looking for GTs. This is a good crack here, about 25 to 30 meters. You've got to dive down to near the bottom, and hopefully those GTs come in thick. Look for the big one, hopefully get the tip. Wind's picking up today. It's the Varakaza wind. It's blow like anything here. Yeah. Wow. But uh, hopefully we're going to have an awesome day. The GT tick having so far eluded him, Chris hoped to change this at one of the coatsman's best GT spots. Beautiful fish, a big shoal of GTs came in. I knew the tick was 25, but it was the biggest fish in the shoal that I could see. So, took a shot. Awesome fish, fought hard. Eh? I eventually had to pull it up on the float with a clip. Didn't pull it up, it's too strong. Not the best shot ever, but pretty good shot. It's gotta be over 109, eh? Let's have a look. It's very close, but it's a fat fish, eh? Fat fish, yeah. Ah! Oh. Whoa! 27. 27, that's what you said. Yeah. yeah. It's a tick, eh? Well done. <laughs> you got a tick, Chris! Yeah! Chris had now got two ticks in as many days. Madagascar was certainly delivering for the Spear Junkies team.